Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios uh, artwork for today. I sketched that when I was uh, sitting by the lake shore in Toronto. Uh, so those uh, rowing uh, rowers on the lake. Check my website for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share with you my poem devotional which is extracted from 1 Corinthians 1 verse 21. It says, since God in his wisdom saw to it that the world would never know him through human wisdom, he has used our foolish preaching to save those who believe. And here's my poem. Futility of human wisdom. How often do you rely on your own wisdom? Can human knowledge lead you to God's kingdom? Without God, we can never comprehend anything. It is foolish to try and figure out for yourself something. God's wisdom is beyond our understanding. He wants us to continue following and trusting. Even foolish preaching, God uses to save those who believe. You can open your heart, accept Him, and receive. And here's my essay. The quest for knowledge and wisdom had always played a big role in my life. Even at a very young age, I always wanted answers to unending questions in my head. I get frustrated when I can't get answers. I became an easy prey to the enemy. My mind became my stronghold. It was used so I can be enslaved by thinking addiction. Overanalyzing things became automatic and later on I became proud of what I knew. God revealed to me that I can't have answers to everything. The Bible tells us that we can never know God through human wisdom. He uses foolish preaching to save those who believe. Only His Word can lead us to know Him. Prayer Lord, keep me in Your Word. Reflection how can we really know God? And here's a testimony to this uh, verse. I know, um, as I said earlier in, in, in the essay, I love to know or, or understand something. I, it seems like I get a sort of a, a high whenever I come to have an answer for something that is uh, um, lurking in my mind. I'm, I'm sure that God has created us with the mind so that we will use it. And I'm, and the Bible also tells us that we, we need to use our mind. But He also gave us a heart so that we will be able to protect our heart from corruption. So I think that the mind and the heart should work together. And uh, it didn't used to. A lot of times in the past, I use my, you know, sometimes something that makes sense to us may not make sense to God or something that makes sense to God may not make sense to us. Um, and this is a re one of the reasons why, why many people have uh, turned away from God is because they cannot comprehend or understand what how God thinks and why God has done things or has allowed things to happen in their lives the way it did. But... As the Bible says, we will never be able to know God through human wisdom. And I think that the only way we can know God is to keep in, in a, a closer relationship with Him through seeking His truth, through seeking the Word of God, and applying them in your lives. I think that is the only way we will get revelation. I think it's not important that we have accumulated a lot of information in our mind. And when we read a Bible... Uh, I think it's not good to have um, just because you want to know something, but because God wants to show you something or reveal to you something that will further His kingdom here on earth, then um, I think that is where we will get the wisdom that God has or that we will have a share of His divine wisdom. So thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. 
day and I hope that you check my website at ilmaarts.com. That's I-L-M-A-A-R-T-S.com. Have a good day.